we'll see the third question in that the first bit is 369 divided by some integer gives 369 we know that when any number is divided by 1 gives the value same as that number therefore 369 divided by 1 gives 369 therefore the answer is 1 we'll see the second problem the question is negative 75 divided by some integer gives negative 1 we know that when any non-zero integer is divided by the same non-zero integer we get 1 when we divide 75 with 75 we get 1 when we divide negative 75 with negative 75 we get 1 but we can see that the value in the answer is negative 1 which bears a negative sign that means we have to divide two integers which are having the opposite signs which implies negative 75 when divided with plus 75 gives negative 1 therefore the answer is plus 75 we'll see the third bit the question is negative 206 divided by some integer gives 1 we know that when any non-zero integer is divided by the same integer we get 1 which implies when negative 206 is divided by negative 206 we get 1 therefore the answer is negative 206 we'll see the next problem the question is negative 87 divided by some integer gives 87 we know that any integer divided by 1 gives the same integer which implies negative 87 divided by 1 gives negative 87 but we can see that in the answer we have a positive sign which implies we have to divide negative 87 with a negative integer that is negative 1 to obtain plus 87 therefore the answer is negative 1 we'll see the next problem that is some integer divided by 1 gives the value negative 87 we know that any integer divided by 1 gives the same integer therefore when negative 87 is divided by 1 this gives negative 87 therefore the answer is negative 87 we'll see the next pro problem that is some integer divided by 48 gives negative 1 we know that when any integer is divided by the same integer gives the value 1 which implies when 48 is divided by 48 this gives the value 1 but in the answer we can see that we have a negative sign which implies we have to divide two integers which are having the opposite signs therefore when negative 48 is divided by 48 
we get negative 1. Therefore, the answer is negative 48. This is the next problem. That is, when 20 is divided by some integer, we get the answer negative 2. When 20 is divided by 10, we get the answer 2. But in the answer, we can see that we have a negative sign, which implies when we divide two integers having the opposite signs, we get a negative sign in the answer. Therefore, when 20 is divided by minus 10, we get minus 2 in the answer. Therefore, the blank is negative 10. We'll see the next problem. The question is, when any integer divided by 4 gives the answer negative 3. We know that when 12 is divided by 4, we get the answer 3. But we can see that we have a negative sign in the answer, which shows that when two integers of opposite sign are divided, we always get a negative sign in the answer, which implies when negative 12 is divided by 4, we get negative 3. Therefore, the answer is negative 12.